How's it going guys? Shizu Cats here, and today we're going to be looking at Harley, the Wind Dancer, mainly known for his defensive utilities. Originally released in JP around the time of Tiki Lens Arena, he was originally seen as the defensive counterpart to Lynette, the only other available 5-star dancer at the time. If you've ever been on the Japanese side of the conversation for Octopath COTC, you would know that Harley is a unit that has historically seen very little use, despite having what I would consider to be a fairly strong kit at the time of his release. At first glance, he is a solid wind attacking unit who also has access to team-wide defensive utilities. However, there are many factors that led to him being a less than satisfactory unit overall, which led to him being one of the buffed characters when he was finally introduced into the English version of COTC, several months later than when his JP counterpart was released in JP COTC. Harley's voice actor, Mitsuhiro Ichiki, is not as well known a name within the anime industry compared to some of the other voice actors that we've featured so far in COTC, but he's by no means a no-name. Rather, his more prominent works are in video game titles, with roles like Hibiki in Blaze Blue Central Fiction, Hinata and his son Hisame from the Fire Emblem Fates games, as well as Donald from Fire Emblem Awakening, and Yama Tono Kami Yasusada from Token Rambu. Whew, what a mouthful of a name. Alright, let's take a look at Harley's stats. Offensively, the stat we would want to look at is his magic, which caps out at 380, the lowest amongst all of the magically inclined dancers in the game so far. His better asset, though, is his speed, which caps out at 356, and is especially helpful considering his role as a defensive buffer. Hasumi, who can fill a similar role, has significantly lower speed at only 317, making it harder for her to reliably cast defensive buffs before the faster enemies can take their actions, but in turn, she has a significant advantage in offensive power. Unfortunately for Harley, multiple slots in his kit are wasted on very weak abilities, such as his starting 170 power wind nuke, and his one-hit AoE fan and wind attacks, both at a mere 150 power. It's nice to have the option to use a fan AoE, but the wind skill is easily outclassed by another skill in his kit later on. In English, Harley's three-hit random target wind has been buffed to a four-hit single target wind, a vast improvement that makes him an even better shield breaker while also increasing his reliability in fights with multiple enemies. His other prominent wind attacking option is his two-hit wind AoE, only available at five star which also inflicts 15% attack down on all enemies for 2 turns. This skill makes Harley a fantastic unit for the Ritu Cup, as all of the enemies are weak to wind and attack physically. Next up are his utilities, starting with his strongest and most defining team-wide buff, which gives all front row allies 15% defense and magic defense up for 2-5 turns based on boost level, and is only available at 5 star. This ability can be combined with other allies' buffs such as Glossom's team-wide attack and defense up, or Hasumi's own set of defensive buffs to reach a 30% cap if you deem the extra defense to be necessary. Outside of that, Harley also has the option to bring a single ally 15 or 20% defense and magic defense up to allow him to single-handedly reach 30% cap on a specific unit that you might feel needs more protection compared to the others. However, running a combination of buffs does sacrifice ability slots that you might otherwise want for his two wind attacking options. He also has an AoE 20% wind defense down debuff, which can be helpful in fights where you're against multiple enemies weak to wind, such as the aforementioned Ritu Cup, especially when stacking alongside other AoE wind defense down units, such as Noel or Menno. As for his passives, both are ones that we've seen previously on other units. His first passive mirrors Teo's, giving him extra BP income at the end of the first two turns of battle. This lets him cast an early 3 BP defensive buff across the team if needed, and then have enough BP later on for either another 3 BP buff, or some BP invested in offensive power. However, his second passive leaves much to be desired. Harley receives 3% of damage taken as SP. His kit is not prohibitively expensive that he would need this SP restoration in my opinion, and the defensive nature of his kit will actually cause him to take less damage and get less value overall out of this passive. As for Harley's ultimate, it gives 10-20% defense, magic defense, and lightning defense up to all front row allies for 2-3 turns, based on the level of the ultimate. 2 turns from levels 1 through 9, and 3 turns at level 10. While the extra defenses can be a useful niche in some very specific fights, overall I wouldn't consider it a defining piece of his kit. In my opinion, Harley's relatively poor performance in JP is due to most of the content being added to the game not being suitable for him. High difficulty fights typically didn't demand defensive options for both physical and magic damage at the same time. Arena fights for the most part would want one or the other, with Tiki Lin and Varkin looking for magic defense, and Glossom wanting physical defense. Ritu's entire fight being weak to wind and all being physical attackers 
is what made Harley really shine in that fight in particular, but every character is going to have the stars aligned for them at some point. However, even with how perfect the situation is for Harley with the Ritu Cup, as I'm sure you're all aware, there is no shortage of strong wind attackers that could be brought to the fight, even amongst 4 stars. Looking ahead to the future with the Gertrude and Uni Cups, these are once again fights that are heavily skewed towards a single defensive typing, being physical damage. For these, Glossom saw heavy use as a unit who would not only buff physical defense, but could also buff physical attack at the same time, and could bump up the values of both to the 30% caps all by himself. Ultimately, the single factor that E.N. Harley has to try to change his identity lies in his 4-hit win single target, which is the only one that currently exists in English if I remember correctly, with the other 4-hit win skills being random target such as Scarecrow and Tiki Len. At the moment, the best fight for that is arguably Ritu, but his 2-hit wind AoE is equally effective there. So the question to ask is, will there be a new niche for Harley in light of these changes? Only time will tell. And that concludes my overview on Harley. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And until next time, this has been Cheesy Cats. See ya!